So hello and assalamu alaikum this is lecture number 23 and I will continue with wind speed estimation. So uh, as we know that uh, wind speed varies with respect to minutes, hours, days and months and uh, it also changes its uh, directions uh, and also changes its uh, speed with the weather. So the uh, data for the uh, wind speed is uh, quite versatile. So annual uh, mean uh, speed has to be average for a period of over 10 years to have a reliable assessment for uh, a site that is being uh, considered that is considered being as a potential site for the installation of a single or multiple wind turbines. So as most of the projects uh, cannot uh, wait for a longer period of times like, uh, like uh, I mentioned uh, that the annual mean speeds have to be uh, average for an area uh, for the time period of about 10 years so what is done is that long term measurement is also expensive and um, it is uh, not encouraged so uh, it is preferred that the short term data of a single year is compared with a long term data of a nearby site and an approximation is used uh, to estimate the long term data in practice. So uh, this type of uh, method is uh, known as MCP, uh, M for Meyer, C for correlate and P for predict. So it is known as MCP technique. The wind speed measurements are nearly periodic because wind is driven by the sun because the sun heats up the wind in some areas and the hot air will rise upward and the colder area, uh, air will be taking its place and this is the mechanism of how the wind blows. So as uh, we have our yearly calendar and seeing that yearly calendar we can predict weather. So in the same manner the wind speeds can be measured and predicted. Now I will discuss about wind speed distributions. The variations over a certain period of a wind describe, is described by the probability distribution function and the probab that probability distribution function is known as Weibull probability distribution function and it is denoted by H. The Weibull probability distribution function has two parameters which are the shape factor and the scale factor. Shape factor is denoted by K and the scale factor is denoted by C. The probability of wind speed uh, denoted by V at a certain uh, time instant is given by the variable probability distribution function H of V equals H by V times V by C power K minus 1 multiplied by the ex, uh, decaying exponential of V by C power K for the limits 0 to infinity. In probability distribution chart uh, H over the specific, uh, specific time is uh, plotted against V and is defined by this formula where H is equal to fraction of wind uh, fraction of time uh, wind speed between V and V plus delta V where delta V is the small increment in V. 
so this is the uh, graph of uh, variable uh, probability distribution function with the uh, scale parameter of c and the shape parameters of uh, 1 2 and 3 for the scale parameter of uh, 1 the uh, curve uh, represents an exponential uh, distribution function for uh, the uh, shape uh, parameter of uh, 2 the uh, available probability distribution function uh, resembles a relay distribution and for k is equal to 3 the shape parameter of uh, strength 3 is uh, approximated by the Gaussian distribution function. So uh, in general the Meyer wind speed uh, distribution this is uh, its uh, graph is nearly approximated for the relay distribution function for 16 mile per hour of wind speed on the x axis uh, these are the 10 20 uh, 30 40 50 and 60 uh, uh, and on the uh, y axis uh, uh, these are the uh, wind speeds and uh, these are the uh, times in uh, hours Similarly, uh, this is the uh, time in uh, percent on the x axis, uh, uh, y axis, and on uh, x axis uh, are the uh, wind speed in from 4 to uh, 40 in uh, miles per hour. This figure. Uh, shows that the way uh, variable probability distribution with uh, the shape parameter of 2 and the scale parameter is uh, ranging from 8 miles per hour to 16 miles per hour. Now I will discuss about the mode and mean wind speed. The mode speed corresponds to the hump in the distribution function wind speed most uh, frequently available at the given site and the mean speed v means uh, is uh, calculated from the total area under the hv curve that is uh, being integrated from 0 to infinity infinity uh, divided by the total number of hours in that period depending upon the values of uh, the uh, c and k at most site v mean or the mean speed is approximated by the formula c multiply by under root of 1 plus 1 by k for relay distribution k is equal to 2 the mean speed is 0 0.90 times c where C acquired from V mean or the mean speed can be used to approximate the wind speed distribution at the given site using uh, the uh, relay distribution of K is equal to 